Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tashawn here and I'm back with another video. This is for L3 Waxy Wonders. I had placed this order on February 18th and received it on February the 29th or 28th. And um, this order um, basically was an 80s pop-up. So Jennifer had asked the question in the group, what was your favorite fangirl, fan guy um, type of movie or television um, show? So we all contributed in that uh, comment section for that particular post and basically put our favorite um tv shows movies from the 80s so with the list that you know we provide her in the comment section jennifer went through and decided to create blends based off of the names that we gave um to you know for the um question so um i'm gonna go ahead and get started with these samples or actually not the samples the first thing is this sticker, and it says, Big Journeys Begin With Small Steps. I do agree. Um, I also have a lollipop. Are you going to focus? Come on. There we go, and this is an orange cream. I do have three samples. And this one is Key Lime, Don't Cross Streams. And Don't Cross Streams is vanilla cookies, vanilla wafers, and vanilla ice cream with adipose. And adipose is her ultimate marshmallow blend. So mallow fluff, jet puff, mallow, and toasted marshmallow. And I mostly get Key Lime Pie right now. This is a scoopable wax tart. Or wax melt. Let me see. Okay. So I rubbed this out. And now I get the Don't Cross Streams. I get that vanilla. Creamy marshmallow goodness. Which lends to this bakery blend. That's really good. And that's what that looks like. I can't wait to melt that. We have buttered popcorn caramelized pralines. And this one is pretty much self-explanatory. I do get that nuttiness from the pralines. That caramelized sugar. And that buttery popcorn is so good. Oh, so just think um, you have like a bucket full of like hot buttery popcorn and then um, mix within that, well, not super hot, but like kind of like warm mix within that um, is the like cut up pieces of pralines mixed in. Oh, that smells really good. And then this one is Sea Duck. And when I first saw the name, I was like, oh, is this like an aquatic blend? But it's not. I did look up the scent notes. This is watermelon, cantaloupe, camu camu. And camu camu is a sweet, fruity scent, which um, is orange juice, peach nectar, tart lime, uh, pineapple, banana apple, and berries. So basically, this is just a real fruity blend. Ooh. I pick out the cantaloupe first, <coughs> first, <coughs> excuse me, the cantaloupe is strong. And then I get that watermelon, it's like a candied watermelon. And then I get like additional fruity notes from the camel camel. This is really nice. Oh, I do like this. And it is bunny ears. Excuse me, guys. That cantaloupe really uh, got to me there. <laughs> so those are my three samples. This order was a particularly small order because I was only, I only placed, I really placed the order for two, for one cent. And um, the other was just kind of like gimmies, <laughs> so to speak. So um, I got the mist, which is ozone, salt, saltwater mermaid, and abalone.
Oh, this is really nice. This is a very salty, aquatic, fresh. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, I do like this one. I've missed this um, scent in uh, previous orders when it was in the, the basic Betty Loaf. So I was very excited when I saw this in a Bitty Betty. I should have got two. Not sure why I didn't. Yeah, I do know why. <laughs> because I am on the custom list and I wasn't trying to get too much because I knew I was getting closer on the custom list and I was. <laughs> um, I believe that same day of the um, restock, I um, got tagged for, you know, to be able to, you know, start working on my, my custom blends. So I did send my custom blends to, um, along with some, you know, other stuff. Um, in terms of blends, um, to, uh, Jennifer, like, um, one of the blends was created, he, Jay created, um, a blend and it was so amazing. I was like, Ooh, do you mind if I add that to my custom list too? He was like, sure, go ahead. So, um, I do have one of his blends. Um, that I added to my customers. So that's why I said I sent my customs along with others because his blend is not my blend. He just was so nice enough to let me go ahead and add that to my custom, even though he created it. But I can't wait to get it because the scent notes just sound so amazing. So, um, but yeah, so I wanted to keep this order very small <laughs> because of that. And this one is Pink Sugar Pie Crust Warm Vanilla Sugar. And I got this one because there's another vendor um, that I had placed an order with and they have pink sugar pie crust. So I was like, you know, with this particular vendor, um, I won't be able to get pink sugar pie crust until next year. <laughs> it won't come back around until next year. So I did order it, but, um, by the time I ordered it, I was not able to get, you know, the quantity of, of what I wanted at the time. So I did order, some, you know, that blend, but um, unless I hoard it, I won't get it again until next year. So I was like, oh, pink sugar pie crust, warm vanilla sugar. Let me try this one. <laughs> because that pink sugar pie crust blend is phenomenal. So I figured with the addition of the warm vanilla sugar, you know, that should work too. And I definitely get that pink sugar. It's very pretty. I'm not really picking up too much pie crust, but I do get like the warm vanilla sugar. So to me, the pink sugar and the warm vanilla um, sugar, pink sugar, warm vanilla sugar is coming out the most. This is definitely giving me body care-esque type of vibes. And this is what it looks like. It's a nice pink color. So that smells really good. Um, the other blend that I bought from the other vendor, you definitely can get that pie crust note um, more so in that one. So this is, you know, different, which is fine, but it still smells amazing nonetheless. And so that was it for my two bitty Betty Loaves. And then I guess I'll save those two. Then um, I got Blue Lagoon. So Blue Lagoon, Blue, yeah. Blue Lagoon was one of the blends that was on the um, list of the uh, 80s themed post. And um, I remember that movie growing up from the 80s. Uh, Brooke Shields was in it. I can't remember who the guy was in it. 
I don't know if it was the guy from Greatest American Hero or not. Like, I'm drawing a blank on who her co-star was. But I just remember that movie um, when I was little. So, I got this as more of like a nostalgia type thing. And uh, this is Salty Sea Air, Wild Berries, and Pink Chiffon. And Pink Chiffon is less um, fruity... Uh, Floral Fruity Sweet Blend. Oh, this, this feels. feels. <laughs> this smells really nice. Oh, I get the blueberries. Oh, it's like sweet candied blueberries. Because I feel like fresh blueberries don't really smell like anything. Just like something that came from the earth, so to speak. <laughs> um, to me, fresh blueberries smell very earthy. They don't smell candied-like. But I like this type of blueberry, so it doesn't bother me. I definitely get that salty sea air. And I do pick up the fruity sweetness and flor like slight floral from the uh, blue, uh, pink chiffon. So that one's very nice. I can't wait to see how this is on warm once it hits the melter. And when it comes to scoops, um, I know some people will dig in because typically when you open it, like when you just, you know, open it and you smell it, you're not really getting the full effect of it. So some people will warm their, um, take their fingers and warm it up a little bit. Or either take the scoop, scoopable, which anytime you order scoops, uh, Jennifer will include one of these scoopables. She also has them on her uh, website for additional purpose, purpose, additional purchase. They are $2 a piece and um, she has multiple colors of these. So I do have a ton of these scoopables. And, um, you know, but you automatically get one when you uh, order scoopable. So some people will take this and kind of like dig around in there just to kind of break the seal so you can get the true scent of it. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what this one is. This one is Espresso Mallow Fireside Sugar Cookie. Oh, that's good. I definitely get that espresso is very strong, bold, roasty. And then you get the um, fireside. It just adds a little bit extra smokiness to that coffee note. And then I get that sweetness from the sugar cookie, so that bakery component. This one is really nice. And I don't, I feel like I have this in um, puppy packs maybe, or maybe a, a loaf. I don't know, I have to look and see. But this one smells really good. So that was those two. And then this is Indiana Jones and this is sandalwood and wild elderberry. So I came up with this selection for the 80s uh, themed question on the post in the group um i did put other selections in there but it was just nice enough that jennifer picked one of mine which was great so thank you so much jennifer i do appreciate that um growing up one i love harrison for it like anything he does i love for the most part i think i've seen mostly all of his movies um it may be like one or two or maybe three that i have not seen but i've seen the majority of his work and I do like him as an actor. And I love him in um, my favorites. Like, I like them in the Jack Ryan movies. Um, I also really, really loved him in Star Wars as Han Solo. But my favorite, I will have to say, is Indiana Jones. Like, I just love, 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 love Indiana Jones. I used to watch Indiana Jones every day when I came home from school. After I did my homework, I would go upstairs. I would turn the TV on. My mom would be like, what are you watching? Indiana Jones, you know, and I 
know the movie lines frontwards and backwards. Um, I just enjoyed all of the movies, even the one with Shia LaBeouf or Shia LaBeouf, however you say it. Um, but like my favorites are the first three movies. So Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, what is it? Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and The Last Crusade. So, um, I definitely am a big fan of those movies. And no matter how many times I've seen them, I get like such joy just rewatching them over and over and over again. So that's just me. So this, um, was basically, a um, not so much like a dream come true, but it was nice that she picked this one because I was I had put several other ones and I was like I don't know like what like my whole thing was well if she picks something from what I put in the comment section which one is she gonna go with because I had a lot of movies um movies and TV shows that I put in in like as far as my answer was concerned so I you know I had no idea which one she was gonna pick but I was very very excited that she picked Indiana Jones so. Like I said, this one is Sandalwood Wild Elderberries. And Elderberries is um, comparable to black currants or currants in itself and um, cranberries because it's a tart fruit. Um, elderberries is also good for your, um, uh, what is it, immune system. <laughs> so I do take a, a supplement that has elderberries and sea moss. So... Um, you know, helps you, you know, boost your immune system and uh, especially when like in, you know, flu season, cold season, you know, even with allergies and stuff like that. So it's a very, I believe it's considered an antioxidant, I believe, but I do. And I, it is the, 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 the well, I have the gummies because I don't, you know, I get tired of taking all those pills. So I have the, the gummies and the gummies do have like a tartness to it. Um from that elderberry, but they're very good. Haven't had actual elderberries though. One of these days I will. So, ooh. Oh, wow. You get that warm earthiness of the sandalwood. And then you get that fruit from the elderberry, like that tart fruit. It's a little sweet, but you definitely can pick up that tartness. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Oh, I can't wait <laughs> to melt this. And that's what that one looks like. So I dig it too, because I figured I was going to like this, even though I have not <laughs> melted this scent before. I knew I was going to enjoy it, so... I got two of them and um, I should have put that one in my customs for my customs list. Um, hmm. I may have to melt that today just to see what it's like on warm and I may have to, you know, connect to my email and be like, hey, Jen, can you add this one to my customs list? Um, it's a very nice on cold is very nice. It's very beautiful, but we will see what how it transforms on warm um, to see. If it stays the same, if it evolves, um, if it becomes this beautiful scent overall. So I'm definitely looking forward to melting that one for sure. Along with the other goodies that I do have. So that was it guys. Like I said, my order was very small. I kept it simple because of the custom list. My custom list is very big. Yes, I know. And I know I've been saying I'm, you know, I'm cutting back on my, my wax buys and things like that. And I have, I've, you know, cut down considerably. Um, I just been picking and choosing what pre-orders I want and certain RTS like this one was an exception. <clears throat> I've been making exceptions for, but I have skipped a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of RTS so far that have happened that I was like, yeah, nope. I'm, I'm just going to say no. So, um, and it feels good. It feels good to be like, nope, you don't need that. Nope. You don't need you. You already have enough of that. You have this and things like that. So. I'm working through melting what I have, and I've been doing really good, although I know it can get better, and it will get better. So um, I'm just going to keep sticking with that, you know, schedule for this year and see how it goes. And who knows, it might roll over into next year as well. 
in terms of how I am spending and things like that. And um, it also helps me to see like who I want to, you know, purchase from again, because I might, you know, you doing this, you kind of find what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And if it's something that, you know, is worth it to purchase again, or if it's like, you know what, I'm going to stick with what works. So, so far, you know, it's going very well. And, um, you know, but like I said, I am looking forward to melting these. So that's it, guys. I'm just going to end it here. Thank you so much. If you made it to the end, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you are notified when I upload my next video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.